Tell me, Hermano, should easy have been killed by Arcus Alvarez? Welcome back to Fog Entertainment, and you know what? It's been a while since we did a wee Mayans theory. I thought, New Year, same old gear, so to speak, because we made our bread and butter on this channel talking about Mayans MC. So let's talk about it, let's get stuck straight into it, and uh, yeah, looking forward to it. So of course we know how CQ Reyes went out, got revealed as a rat, Cody came over, Bishop was sitting in his tile, and it was all bang bang good night. But Marcus Alvarez, of course, he thought that Diaz was killed by Sam Crow, so he went and paid Quinn a visit, and then what did he do? What did Marcus Alvarez do? Well... He didn't do nothing. Quinn told him that ASA, you Mayans kill each other more than we kill you. How about you look in your own backyard? And uh, yeah, he didn't even bother looking in his own backyard. It, it actually, it's actually quite insane that he completely and utterly bottled it. If we're being honest, like he literally, he's literally went and bottled it. Like, he didn't even confront them, and I just think, right, maybe. This season finale, would it have been better if Bishop consulted with Alvarez and he told him the truth about Diaz and he went, here, I know he killed Diaz and that's some fuck it. Well, actually, yeah, he did kill Diaz and then Bishop's the one that actually killed Jinx. Not that Alvarez would care too much about Jinx, but maybe, maybe he could have consulted with Bishop, right? And went, he's a rat. You know, he covered up Diaz's death, even though it was the whole... But then it was the whole shot. I don't know. But he he's, he's the prez at the end of the day. He, he calls the shots... It's kind of hard to, um, you know, distinguish between like what would Alvarez feel like. But then, but he has that scene with he has that scene with Bishop in the in the series finale in Mayans that makes you think that it's all okay. You know, I, so it's a wee bit, it's a wee bit confusing to be perfectly honest. Because at the end of the day, what could he? What could he possibly? team up with with the Mayans against Easy when it was the whole charter. But yeah, Easy, it does start with him. He is the head of the snake, so to speak, and at the end of the day, he should have hopefully, 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 you know, have done the job here, but he didn't. Uh, I mean, the last scene we see with Alvarez is the, he sees his kid, um, and he, as a Bischoff walks away, he's like, that man, he's not free from the chains of being a Mayan. Damn it. Well, but that's like Alvarez's last scene, sitting with his new kid, and I get it. You know, it, it's quite incredible, but it says here that Marcus Alvarez, a bit of trivia for you, troops. Um, Marcus Alvarez is the only non main character to appear in the pilot, the finale, and all seven seasons of Sons of Anarchy. So there you go. And you know what? He's the only character to appear in the pilot, the series finale of both shows, which is quite an incredible. Um, you know, we wreck up there. Great character, Marcus Alvarez, but I think, I, just imagine though, Easy thinks he's won the war and Alvarez busts in the fucking doors and drops Easy. You kill my puta! Not that Diaz was Alvarez's bitch, but, you know, I, I think there was different ways of handling this. Um, like, Easy going out, yeah, I almost find that a bit cringe the way he was just kept getting stabbed and Angel's holding him up, almost dry humping him at the back, and it's like, what are we doing here? Racing our ping pong. But for me, I think Alvarez should have been the one to kill Ezekiel Reyes. I think that would have been the more fitting ending. Of course, going into this final season, we thought that it might have been easy killing Alvarez, but by God, I wanted it the other way about, and by God, I'm going to stick by that, what I wanted, guys. But we didn't get to see it. And Marcus Alvarez got to live another day. And the CQ Reyes, well, he didn't die at the hands of Marcus Alvarez. He died at the hand of his own club. So until next time, leave your thoughts down below and peace.